and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. This is TCSI on Intelligent, celebrating the gems of tomorrow. But before we move on with this function here today, it is our privilege and pleasure to wish all of us a very happy Republic Day. It's also a proud moment as an event like this, essentially for children, is meant to build a better nation for a better future. And before we move any further, let's take this short message from TCSI on Intelligem and then move on to the function itself. The 21st year of the 21st century introduced us to a new world, a world hitherto unimaginable, a world which is fast changing, challenging and ever evolving. To thrive in this complex new world, students are expected to prove their mettle by navigating through more skills, more capabilities and inevitably more competition. It's our responsibility to equip our students, the young learners, with the 21st century life skills and prepare them for the new world. Academic experts endorse the importance of 21st century skills as a foundation of creating holistic and well-rounded individuals. Before we progress any further, let us introduce you to your host, the young and charismatic Rashmi Futado. An alumnus of the prestigious NITK Suratkal, she went on to become the only professional woman quiz host across Asia that she presently is. The co-founder of TeacherTribe.World, she has many a feather in her large hat. From co-hosting Tata Crucible to being the first woman to host a quiz show in Kuwait, she's also hosted programs in Singapore and Dubai. Business World rated her as 40 under 40 for content creators. She was also conferred the iconic woman for creating a better world for all from the Woman Economic Forum. Time for us to get started. Please welcome your host, Miss Rashmi Futado. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me start by wishing all of you a happy Republic Day. TCS Ion Intelligent is a year-long activity where the contestants go through multiple rounds of testing with aptitude testing, application, personal interviews and multiple grueling rounds in the grand finales. I'm sure all of you have already watched the grand finales and now TCS Ion Intelligent 2022 has unearthed the gems of tomorrow. Welcome to the award ceremony of TCS Ion Intelligent 2022. Past two years have been very difficult for all of us, but as humans, we adapt. When initiatives like Intelligent by TCS Ion are conducted in a massive scale digitally, they ensure that our students gain the same experience that they would when in school. And for this, we thoroughly appreciate the TCS Ion team. Before we move any further, may I please request Mr. Mahadevan Venkatakrishnan, segment head TCS Ion School Education, to set the ball rolling. Thank you, Rashmi. Good evening, everyone. A very warm welcome. And first, a very happy new year 2022. It gives me great pleasure in e meeting each and every one of you, seeing you all join to celebrate the gems of tomorrow. We are already at the end of season four. It looks like yesterday. In fact, for the second straight year running, we even have completely gone online, keeping the safety of each and every one of you at utmost priority. And I should first thank all the schools, students and parents who have actively participated, encouraged and mentored 
to be part of the TCS and intelligent competition. In the last two years, which you must have heard multiple times over, everyone has been trying to be creative with the way they teach, they learn, they connect, they communicate, they converse, or they engage. I don't know the connection, but this year in IntelliJump, we can see a very strong proportion of students who have taken up creativity and innovation and communication skills among the five skills. Maybe everyone wants to get to the basics and master these skill sets. When we started IntelliJump, our goal was to make each and every one of the school children well-rounded, ready to take on the future confidently. So we looked at the set of skills which are very critical for the long-term success. Each and every skill we have put together with a lot of thought. Some of them ask, why are we having universal values, for example? We said, some people can master any skill, but if they don't have the fundamental values, the values of empathy, the values of righteousness, one can be an air communicator, but peddles misinformation. One can be an air creator, but steal someone else's ideas or IPs. One can be a fantastic financial wizard, but they may create Ponzi schemes if their values are not in the right place. And that is very critical because in a world we need to really empathize with so many things happening around us, which we are not completely aware of, which we do not know what is happening, why it is happening, and hence the ability to empathize and understand each other becomes very critical. And that's why we introduced universal values. In fact, we continue to add something every year. This year, we added visual literacy. Given that children have been spending a lot of time online, necessitated by the pandemic, we said it is very important to bring into their young minds what is right, what is trustable, and what is fake, so that they are able to take the right decisions in terms of learning online. To do this, we looked at people who can help us. So we reached out to an organization called Map India, the Museum of Art and Photography, who have developed significant expertise in this area. All the participants of this intelligence this year went through a series of engagements, actively learning the fundamentals of visual literacy. One of the other things is people ask, what's the right time to skill students on these set of skills. For example, some of them say, isn't financial literacy too early for a fourth standard student? In a world where things are changing so fast, there's no right time or wrong time. The earlier you get, the better you get at it. In fact, we have seen that schools are telling us, parents are telling us, and we are actively seeing this. In those children who have taken up these skill sets part of intelligence, are already seeing fantastic change in the way they interact or they are taking on the future confidently. Their teachers are telling us that there is a lot of change in these children who are participating. In fact, that's one of the key goals and vision of intelligence to make everyone well-rounded, holistic, and take on the world with confidence. So first, let me again thank every school, every school leader, teacher, to have actively encouraged their students to participate. This year, we had participation from schools across 143 cities in the country, spread across 25 states, a little less than last year, but the competition was tougher. 
from what we hear from the finalists, it was definitely tougher than the last year or the year before. In fact, some of the finalists from last year were also there this year, and they tell us how it was. Many of the schools joined to learn how they can integrate the 21st century skills into their school ecosystem. A series of webinars which we conducted, many schools participated, trying to understand what does it take to integrate it. In fact, many of them are already doing it online this year. So thank you all for all the principals and teachers again for actively participating. One of the things which we want to tell you is this year we have for the very first time a joint winner. In fact, one of the topics has two people which we found it very difficult to differentiate. And going forward, I think this becomes sort of what we believe will be the competition, the contest, but at the same time, an engagement to really create awareness and understanding of the key competencies at scale. Thank you, each and every one of you. All of you who are here together are winners. Whether you end up as winners or finalists, because you have taken a very important step to succeed in the future. And wishing you all a very happy Republic Day evening. Thank you and good day. Thank you, Maha. Behind every wonderful initiative, there's a mind that creates, nurtures and supports it. For TCS Ion Intelligum, it has always been Mr. Venguswami Ramaswami, fondly known to everyone as Swami. Swami globally heads TCS Ion, a strategic unit of Tata Consultancy Services. Swami was instrumental in setting up this unit, driving the domain solutions relevant to several industries, including education, manufacturing and recruitment boards. Under Swami's leadership, TCS ION has launched several market-leading platforms in the assessments, learning and process management space. Swami conceptualized Intelligem in 2018 as a vehicle to create strong awareness and understanding of the necessary 21st century skills among the school-going students in India. A Six Sigma Master Black Belt, a fitness enthusiast and regular marathon runner, Swami lives in Mumbai. Welcome Swami, over to you. Hello everyone, hope each one of you is doing well, your parents are safe and friends and families are doing well. Yes, these are difficult times. I'm sure you're all thinking about the day when you can go out and play with your friends. Don't worry, very soon, hopefully we all should be able to do that. Happy Republic Day and hearty wishes to all of you for the new year. 2022. Every new year, like we all say, brings new hope. We all hope tomorrow is a better tomorrow. And more so in this pandemic world, that we will get an opportunity to see each other, shake hands, hug each other, and play together. As we gather today to celebrate the gems of tomorrow, we are celebrating that hope. We are celebrating that hope that makes us go for the tomorrow. It's a great way to start a year, especially in the backdrop of what happened in the last two years. Two years that have been the most unusual. We are all locking ourselves in our houses and not able to see each other in the physical world very difficult for us, much more difficult for each one of you as children. Never did we imagine that our daily lives will change so dramatically and so fast. But children, we have plenty of reasons to be optimistic. Necessity is the mother of innovation, as we say. 
did we see innovation absolutely innovation in abundance our lives have become a lot more digital but so be it it has helped us to innovate the way we work the way we study the way we interact the way we play and even more the way we take our examinations it would not have been possible but for this active collaboration of everyone who has been involved together back here your teachers are actively collaborating to bring the lessons online to you and continue to interact with you every single day as though they are all in front of you in a physical class i am a firm believer in the power of collaborative innovation when we all constructed intelligem it was with this clear vision that we can create hundreds and thousands of innovators very many gems who will go on to change the world for a better tomorrow we just need to provide an environment where our minds can actively learn and master all the skills that is needed for the future and have an ability to challenge the status quo be the understanding of the human values and life communicating timely and effectively solving unforeseen and varied set of problems innovating under a set of constraints knowing and growing one's finances standing united with the world to tackle global challenges this 21st century era has necessitated the need for imbibing the 21st century skills at a very young age like yours we are extremely delighted to have taken the lead much ahead of everyone else through this intelligent contest and we strive to strengthen and innovate every phase of the contest as we bring this to all of you every year today as the fourth edition of tcs ion intelligem comes to a grand closure with this award ceremony you can be certain of one thing intelligem will be back with a bang next year with lot more innovations and greater excitement congratulations to the young gems of tomorrow a beautiful mix of the curious creative empathetic and communicative lot congratulations to all the participants thank you to the schools the leaders and the partners best wishes to everyone thank you very much thank you swami along with the award ceremony tcs ion has introduced knowledge talks which has continued in the digital platform too let us now get to know our keynote speaker intelligent knowledge talk is a segment where we invite distinguished speakers recognized for their tremendous expertise in innovation and education combined with deep empathy and values these profound leaders share their wisdom and insight to inspire millions of gems in the previous years we have had dr g bala subramanian the erstwhile director of academics of cbse and mr harish but the brand custodian at tata sons address us today we have among us another fantastic speaker leader and innovator mr ramanan ramanathan mr ramanan has served as the first mission director of the atal innovation mission at niti aayog between 2017 and 2021 it's a flagship national innovation and entrepreneurship initiative launched by the prime minister and government of india as the mission director of aim ramanan has been instrumental in the launch 
and execution of several nationwide innovation and entrepreneurship initiatives. And this has resulted in establishment of over 10,000 Atal Tinkering Labs and Schools across 650 districts of India and over 4 million students having access to innovative tools and technologies like 3D printers, robotics, miniaturized electronics and do-it-yourself kits. It's also resulted in setting up of 75 plus Atal Incubation Centers in universities and industry fostering startups. It has also led to creation of 20 Atal New India Challenges to stimulate product innovations along with ministries of India. It's also led to setting up of one of the largest mentorship networks in India with over 10,000 plus mentors working with young school students and startups in the tinkering labs and the incubators. R. Ramanan was previously Managing Director and CEO of CMC Limited, a subsidiary of the Tata Consultancy Services. An electrical engineer from IIT Mumbai, he is also a Harvard Business School alumni accredited in sustainability leadership by Cambridge University and has an honorary doctorate awarded by Gujarat Law Society. Ramanan was awarded the 2019 National Digitalist of the Year by SAP Mint, the 2020 Outstanding National Public Service Award by the Confederation of MSME. He received valuable CEO awards from Business World India twice in a row. Asia Outstanding CEO Award from CMO Asia Singapore, Rajiv Gandhi Shiromani and Indira Gandhi Sadbhavana Awards. Mr. Ramanan, it's our pleasure to invite you to deliver the Intelligent Knowledge Talk. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Rashmi, and thank you, TCS, for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be able to interact with and address the participants of the TCS Intelligent event across the country. Indeed, it is a pleasure and privilege for me to be able to spend a few moments reflecting not only on the importance of this particular event, but also on the impact it is going to have in India and upon the rest of the world. But after all, all of you young students who have participated in this intelligent contest, as well as the parents and the teachers who have so adequately supported them and encouraged them to participate in this, this is a momentous moment for all of you and for all of us in India. We are a country with 1.3 billion people, where more than 65% of our country is under 35 years old. More than 50% of our country is under 25 years old. You are the future of our country. You belong to what they call as a demographic dividend, which is the envy of many a country across the world. In no other country of the world, is so much youthful energy coursing through the nation. And you are part of that youthful energy who are going to be the transformers of the world of tomorrow. Indeed, not only are you citizens of India, but you are global citizens. We are living in an increasingly globally connected world. Digital transformations and digital connectivity and all the advances that technology has brought in and ushered in into this world is making the world a smaller place, but it is making the world a connected place. And so my dear young students, and also the teachers and the parents who are out there supporting you in your journey, we are at a threshold moment in our country as well as in the world, where we have the opportunity to leave, as the great Steve Jobs said, a ding in the universe. After all, you, my dear young students, are going to leave a ding in the universe. Now, what does leaving a ding in the universe mean? It means that through your contribution, through your innovations, through your creations, through your creativity, through your passion to make a difference, you're going to make a difference not only to yourself, but also to the rest of the world. That, my dear young students, is the opportunity in front of us. We all 
should, as the great Abdul Kalam said, and Abdul Kalam came from a small, humble town of Rameshwaram, in the coastal parts of the country, where you have thousands of fishing boats, hundreds of temples, and maybe a school and a university there uh, in that particular town. But out of this small town with thousands of fishing boats came a man who went on to become one of the greatest scientists India has seen and one of the greatest human beings who have graced our planet. He became the president of a country. He said in his book Ignite, dream big and you will achieve great things. Dream small and you will be limited by your own dreams. So my dear young students and the teachers and the parents who are encouraging your young student, your young child on this innovation journey at such a young age. The intelligent contest, as I understand, has spread through hundreds of cities in our country where thousands of schools and several thousands of students have participated. You all have begun on a journey which is called the innovation journey. And the innovation journey, my dear young students, is the most exciting journey that you can become part of. You see, all of you are born innovators. When you were born, nobody taught you how to speak. Nobody taught you how to walk. You stood up, you fell down. You stood up again, you fell down again. But every time you stood up, you innovated. You learned how to balance yourself. You learned how to walk. You learned how to run. You learned how to participate in races in your school, in your college. And you started participating in national competitions. And some of you, as all of you all know, have already become Olympic winners. Every step is a step of innovation. You innovated all the way. You didn't know how to talk, but many people were talking to you in some strange tongue and you watched them. You observed them. You saw their lips moving. You saw strange sounds coming out. You put two and two together through your native intelligence, through your native innovation capability and learned how to talk, how to sing. Now you're not able to stop talking. That is the power of innovation. And somewhere along our education and as we go along in our career, we think we have lost the power to innovate and we think innovation is in the realm of genius. But nothing is far away from the truth. And that is why this intelligence contest that has been launched across the country by TCS is so very important because it makes you realize that you can be the dreamer who can dream of a newer world that we all need to live in, a better world than where we are. Now, what is the opportunity for you in front of you that you can capitalize on and take advantage of? First of all, we are a very large country. We have 650,000 villages in our country. We have more than 715 districts. We have 8,000 small towns and cities, but we have only eight tier one cities in our country where many people try to flock in, in order to create a better livelihood for themselves and a better quality of life for themselves. You have the opportunity to convert these 8,000 small towns and cities, these 650,000 villages that we have in the 715 districts that are there in our country to become hubs of innovation and job creation. You know, when a country as large as India with 1.3 billion people, has to be sustained and has to grow and it is growing. It is one of the fastest growing economies of the world, as many of you are aware. If it has to grow, it needs you all to become the innovators and the job creators of tomorrow. What we need is not just a nation of job seekers. We need a nation of job creators. We already have our education system, which has focused on rote learning, has already enabled us to reach places in the world as a knowledge economy has taken root. That is why India has a $200 billion IT, ITS industry, which is servicing the rest of the world. And TCS as an organization is already leading that pack of companies, which is making an impact. But you have to remember that what has brought us here is not going to take us further without every one of us acquiring a problem solving innovative mindset. We need to become problem solvers of tomorrow. We don't need just a degree from your school and from your college to search for the first job. What you should do, and that is how this ecosystem of innovation is getting created 
through companies like TCS or through initiatives like Atal Innovation Mission from the government for you to become the problem solvers, the tinkerers, the imaginative creators and the job creators of tomorrow. Then only we can carry this 1.3 billion people along to a land of prosperity and socio-economic progress. Now, what do we have to do in order to reach that? You as a young student would wonder, what should I do in such an opportunity-rich world? We are also opportunity-rich because of three other reasons, my dear young students. India is one of the fastest growing economies of the world, growing at what they call as a GDP rate of 6 to 8%. In the next few years, we are going to grow at 8 to 12 percent. That sort of growth of economy is required in order to support innovation, in order to support startups, in order to support entrepreneurs. And you are going to be the entrepreneurs and the startup creators of the future. So a fast growing economy like India is going to be very useful for you. The second is we have what they call as a demographic dividend that I talked about. We are the most youthful country in the world. And you need that youthful energy to be imaginative. You don't allow your imagination to have any bounds or any limits. You are the young students who have a free mind. As we grow up, we sort of restrict ourselves in what we think we can do or we should do. But at this point in time, you don't have any such restrictions. So you can allow your imagination to blossom and to become the innovators and creators of the world we are going to live in. The third is, we are also living in a world that technology is changing the very shape of the world that we are all living in. Technology is changing not only the way you are experiencing the world, but the way the world is experiencing you. Technology has become affordable, accessible, available and advanced. 3D printing, robotics, IoT, miniaturized electronics, augmented virtual reality. These are all available to you young students in your schools between grade 6 to grade 12 through the Atal Innovation Mission and Atal Tinkering Labs, and I'm sure your school also has one, or if not, they should have one. Through these do-it-yourself kits, you get familiar with the latest of technologies upon which solutions of tomorrow are being built. Solutions incorporating advanced computing, advanced communication, advanced sensory technologies. You see, sensory technologies, or IoT as they call the Internet of Things, is getting integrated into man, machine, device, soil, space. So you are able to conceive solutions in every aspect or every domain that we can think of. India has many challenges. We are a country of a billion people with a million challenges. But my dear young students, these million challenges are your golden window of opportunity to convert into a million startups and a million entrepreneurial organizations. That is the world in front of you. It is unprecedented. When I was in school, when I was in college in IIT, when I, was in, when I started working, we never talked about innovation. We never talked about entrepreneurship. We were risk averse. We were afraid to become anything else other than seek a job. But today's world is very different, my dear young students. And I also want the parents and the teachers to realize this. We are living in a world where innovation is going to be the future. So I would encourage every one of you to become the entrepreneur of the future. That is the only way you will be able to reach your full potential. There are so many opportunities, whether it is addressing climate change issues, whether it is addressing the COVID-19 crisis that is affecting us all today. Because of digital technology and digital reach, we are not now able to communicate with each other across distance across the globe. That is why I say you are global citizens. And global citizens should have universal values. Universal values where the universe, the planet, people beyond just your realm of connection are able to experience the creativity that you are able to bring to the table. And my dear young students, the opportunities are many. You know, in India, there are 115 districts which are called aspirational districts, which are at the bottom of the pyramid in terms of basic access to healthcare, education, clean drinking water, sanitation, waste management, and affordable housing. Each of these are opportunities for us to bring the technology, advanced, affordable, accessible, and available technology to create a solution and become an entrepreneur. 
that my dear young students is the opportunity today a country like israel for example is exporting food from a desert and how do they do it because of precision agriculture they are able to create soil health cards and they are able to communicate using satellite technology and wireless technologies and 5g technologies gather the data in the soil identify what is the precise water requirement the precise crop require fertilizer requirement and are able to grow a crop and multiple crops from a desert that is where the power of technology comes in and you my dear young students like i said you are at a point in time in our history you are at a point which is unprecedented where advanced computing advanced communications advanced sensory technologies and advanced communications is making it possible for artificial intelligence blockchain and all these technologies to come forward now one of the important things as we grow within you know every one of you will become an entrepreneur or will have an entrepreneurial mindset i don't want i, I don't expect that everyone will become a startup creator but every one of you should have an entrepreneurial mindset now what does the entrepreneurial mindset mean it means you should dare to dream and dream to dare whatever work you are involved in whatever area whether it is a social area whether you are in sports whether you are in music whether you are in um, literature whether you are an academician or whether you are working for a company like tcs you should dare to dream and dream to dare as the great abdul kalam said dream big and you will achieve great things the second is you should rise to your full potential now how do you rise to your full potential you rise to your full potential when the only person you compete with is yourself don't try to compete with others don't compare yourself with somebody else i want the teachers and the parents never to compare their young students their young child with somebody else let them compete you compete with yourself raise the bar and in order to raise the bar in order to compete with yourself in order to reach your full potential you need an ecosystem of supporting innovation and entrepreneurial capabilities which is what is being created in our country the atal innovation mission for example has launched thousands of adult tinkering labs where young students like you from grade 6 to grade 12 are able to tinker with technologies like 3d printing robotics iot through do it yourself kits and they are creating amazing solutions through their innovation there is a girl school in sikkim which has created a robotic waste management system there is another girl school in salem who have created an iot based solar panel based irrigation management system for precision agriculture now these are students between 5th grade to 9th grade just like all of you and therefore my dear young students you have the ability to look at problems in and around the community that you live in and become the entrepreneurs and the job creators of the future the third thing is you know you want you have this dream you want to reach your potential but you have to have an action plan in order to reach that potential and that action plan means acquisition of skills that are relevant in today's world 21st century skills for example creativity innovation skills design thinking skills communication skills skills that are required for you to become a successful business person financial literacy skills and skills which build build empathy in you empathy is very important my dear young students what does empathy mean empathy means that you are going to put yourself in the other person's shoes who is not as fortunate as you and look at the world and look at the problems from their side and then try to solve the problem through design thinking through communication through collaboration through technology that is available to you and through adopting a more empathetic approach a value based approach in addressing that problem and then my dear young students you are able to convert your aspiration your aim your dream to an action plan that you continuously monitor and improve raising the bar every every day to be able to become some of the finest innovators the world has seen after all today we have a satya nadella heading microsoft a sundar pichai heading google a shantanu narayan heading adobe and arvind krishna heading ibm 
a para heading Twitter, and several Indians leading major universities across the world, whether it is Harvard Business School or Stanford School or banks and financial organizations. And all of these people have been able to reach their full potential because they availed themselves of the ecosystem of innovation and entrepreneurship that was created in the United States and other parts of the world. We are creating the same ecosystem in our country through organizations like TCS, through Intelligent, through the Atal Innovation Mission, which has sponsored and which has launched over 10,000 tinkering labs, where more than 4 million young students like you, between grade 6 to grade 12, have the opportunity to become the job creators of the future, where we have launched incubation centers across the country, so that when you go to college, these incubators will help you foster your own startup and create your own entity. And through community innovation centers which are spreading across the country, we are able to bring the benefits of innovation to rural India, tier 2, tier 3 cities, to the hilly and coastal districts. For example, if you are in Goa, how do I stimulate the innovation for the local fishing industry, the local casualty industry, the local mining industry or the shipbuilding industry or the tourism industry? That's what community innovation will enable our India to become the Atmanirbhar Bharat of our dreams. And as the great Swami Vivekananda said, in order to do all of this, first and foremost, my dear students, have enormous faith in yourself. Yes, I can, should be your attitude. Yes, I can make a difference. Yes, I can leave a ding in the universe. If you have faith in a thousand gods and goddesses, but do not have faith in yourself, you are doomed, said Swami Vivekananda. And nothing is farther away from the truth. We all need to have enormous confidence in ourselves that we are going to leave an impact upon the world, not just to our family, not just to our society, but to the global society at large. And as the great Swami Vivekananda again said, arise, awake, and stop not till your goals are reached. So may I request every one of you who have logged on to this call, arise, my dear young students, to the great challenges that not only India faces, but the world faces. But arise also to the opportunities that these challenges enable you to solve. Awaken from within you that latent talent, that creativity, that capability that you have always had in you, but you have not given expression and you have been limited in giving expression to. And stop not till the Atmanirbhar Bharat goals of our country and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals for the world are reached. And in this journey, remember that you should always enable yourself to meet societal needs. Because unless you have socio-economic progress, you will not be able to make a difference to the world or to your country or to yourself. And my dear young students, this is not just the time when you are focusing only on education or on studies. When I talk about innovation and entrepreneurship, it expands to every field. If you are interested in music, innovate in music. If you are interested in sports, give your best in the sports. Become one of the finest sportsmen the world has ever seen. If you are interested in skills and learning and technology, become a startup creator in that area. If you are interested in education, become a mentor, a friend, a coach. These are the values, the values of giving back to society, the value of honesty, integrity, and having a larger approach. Vasudeva Kutumbam says our history, our Hindu culture, where the world is our family. And therefore, my dear young students, you have an opportunity to leave a ding in the universe. Please do. And we are all there to support you on this journey. I finally want to end with a small little poem that I've always treasured as a child. Learn to make the most of life. Lose no happy days. For time will never bring back those chances swept away. Leave no tender word unsaid. Love while life shall last. For the mill will never grind again with waters that have passed. Thank you so much. God bless all of you. Thank you so much, sir, for those thought-provoking words. 
Many schools have taken part in TCS ION Intelligent 2022 in large numbers and TCS ION recognizes and appreciates their effort. We will now get into the School Excellence Award in the Group School category. The first school we would like to recognize in the Group School category for the School Excellence Awards is Ryan International Group of Schools. Up next is PSVB Group of Schools, Samsit Group of Schools, Shri Kumaran Children's Home, Residency Group of Schools. And now we move into the Individual Schools category in the School Excellence Awards. Starting with Sanjay Godavat International School in Kolhapur, Vikas, the concept school from Hyderabad, Pushpalata Vidya Mandir from Tirunelveli, Delhi Public School from Sector 45, Gurgaon, DAV Public School in Chennai, Kennedy High, the global school in Hyderabad, Abhyas, the global school from West Kodavari, these are all the schools who have been given the School Excellence Awards. There are many who play an integral role in any event for it to be successful. Two such cogs in the intelligent machine are the partners and the jury. Let's first acknowledge the partners. The partners for TCS Ion Intelligent 2021-22 are Step from the Hindu group, Tata Class Edge, Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe, Map Academy and Ed6 Brain Lab. We now recognize our esteemed jury members for being the strong pillars of our grand finales. From the Universal Value Intelligim, we have Mr. Sushank Kalyan, He's an educator, researcher, and expert in finance. Mr. Ram Prasad from the Fellows Office, Indian Administrative Fellowship, Department of Education, Government of Karnataka. Ms. Gayatri Fadnis, she's an entrepreneur and an educator. Mr. Ashish Jain, COO at the AK Modern Establishment from Kuwait. From the Global Citizenship Intelligent, we have Mr. Shravan Shetty, career coach and corporate trainer, Dr. Saba Mohammed Mansoor. She's a doctor and a public health expert. Dr. Shashi Kanta is a professor at NIT Karnataka. And Mr. Bhushan Joshi, who is a senior management professional from the petroleum sector in Kuwait. Moving on to the communication skills in Telegram. The jury members are Ms. Sumitra Srinivasan, who is an educator, trainer and examiner. Dr. T. Jaya, who has a PhD and is a learning facilitator and a consultant. Ms. Nitya Lohit, training manager at the Hindu Step. Ms. Shailaja Ramesh, content manager at the Hindu Step. Ms. Tara Mohan, who is also an assistant content editor from the Hindu Step. Moving on to creativity and innovation in Telegem. Our jury members are Ms. Viola, who is a senior consultant, Ms. Gloria Rajakumari, who is also a consultant, Mr. Sarvanan, who is the founder and CEO of Ed6 Brain Labs. From the financial literacy in Telegem, we have Mr. Tariq Laskar, who is an economist, writer, and a sports editor. We would like to thank all our jury members for taking time out of their busy schedules and picking the brain of our students and also giving them their valuable feedback. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the award ceremony of TCS Ion Intelligem 2022. Let me now tell you what awards our winners and finalists are going to get. Our finalists and our winners would have cash prizes, they would receive trophies and certificates, they are going to receive new age gadgets, 
books and subscriptions and leadership training. All winners take home the Intelligent Winners Trophy cash award of Rs 25,000 along with a merit certificate and Kindle 10th generation. In addition, each of you receive Tata Stories 40 Timeless Tales to Inspire You authored by Mr. Harish Bhatt and Lady Meherbai Tata Champion of Women's Causes published by Amar Chitrakata. All finalists take home cash award of rupees 10,000 along with a finalist medal, a merit certificate and Kindle 10 Chen. In addition, each of you receive Tata Stories, 40 Timeless Tales to Inspire You, authored by none other than Mr. Harish Bhatt and Lady Meherbai Tata, Champion of Women's Causes, published by Amar Chitrakata. Each one of you also receive an Intelligent Backpack. In addition to these exciting rewards, winners and finalists also win free subscription to the Tata Study Learning sponsored by Tata Class Edge. Tata Study, launched very recently, is a personalized e-learning app for students of grades 1 to 10. Winners get a full one-year subscription while finalists get a one-month subscription. Here is a small film on Tata Study. पहले मैथ्स या साइंस या ज्योग्राफी पढ़ाई से ज्यादा पढ़ाई के प्लानिंग में टाइम जाता है इसलिए इसे दिया टाटा स्टडी इसका एडैप्टिव प्लानर मेरे सारे सब्जेक्ट्स पहले से ही प्लान करके रखे सो दैट आई कैन फोकस ओनली ऑन स्टडीइंग टाटा स्टडी पढ़ने का सही तरीका को को हियर टाइगर हियर 10 मिनट्स मिनट्स पापा कैमरा निकालो पापू बेटा वापस जाते ही टेस्ट है 10 मिनट पढ़ाई कर ले अंकल आप पढ़ाई का प्रेशर मत लो इसे दो टाटा स्टडी जिसका साइंटिफिक लर्निंग मेथड पढ़ाई की प्लानिंग करे बेटर जिससे लर्निंग हो बेटर और बच्चों के रिजल्ट्स हो बेटर टाटा स्टडी पढ़ने का सही तरीका वेल दीस आर द प्राइजेस आर फाइनलिस्ट्स एंड विनर्स आर गोइंग टू गेट लेट्स नाउ सी हु आवर विनर्स आर it's now time to crown our gems of tomorrow. But before we begin, let's all appreciate the fact that these children are from classes 5 to 9. The challenges that they faced all through Intelligent were designed to make them think beyond their age. And they have all excelled at every stage. Let's now recognize our finalists and our winners. From the Financial Literacy Intelligent, the junior category, we have our finalists here, all of them from classes 5 and 6. The finalists are Navya Joshi from Shishugraha Junior and Senior School, Bangalore, Mehul Jain from Delhi Public School, Gurgaon, Anusha Mehta from Chhatrabuch Narsi School, Mumbai, and Vanshika Agarwal from Lotus Valley International School, Noida. And the winner for the junior category in financial literacy is Mehul Jain. He's from grade 5 from Delhi Public School, Gurgaon. Congratulations to you, Mehul. Moving on to the senior category of the financial literacy intelligence. Our finalists are all from grades 7, 8 and 9. The finalists are Kritika Rakeja from National Hillview Public School, Bangalore, Tejas Ananta from National Public School, Bangalore, Pratnya from Vikas The Concept School, Hyderabad, Neha Renish from Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan, Kanchipuram, Sanjay from Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan in Chennai and Gauri Shinde from New Horizon Public School, Navi Mumbai. And the winner in the senior category of financial literacy is Pratnya from Vikas the Concept School, Hyderabad. Congratulations to you, Pratnya. Moving on to the Universal Values Intelligent, the junior category. 
Our finalists are Sartha Goyal from Ryan International School, Navi Mumbai, Shringesh Bist from Ryan International School, Ludhiana, Anasuya Parashar from Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan, Chennai, Sia Vani from Srimati Sulochana Devi Singhanya School, Thane. The winner in the Universal Values Intelligent for the Junior category is Ms. Anasuya Parashar. She's in grade 6 and she's from Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan, Chennai. Moving on into the senior category of the Universal Values Intelligent, our finalists are Aditi Satyanarayana from National Hillview Public School, Bangalore. Zoha Farin from Presidency School, Bangalore. Viha from National Hillview Public School, Bangalore. Saliha Bilal from Deans Academy, Bangalore. Devika Nayar from Presidency School, Bangalore. And Lalita Hasini from Lakshya School, East Godavari. The winner in the Universal Values Intelligence Senior category is Aditi Satyanarayana from National Hillview Public School in Bangalore. Congratulations to both Anusuya and Aditi. They did beautifully in the grand finales. I'm sure you have watched all of them. Let's move on to the next intelligent. Global Citizenship Intelligent, the junior category. The finalists in this category are Ahilya from Vikas the Concept School in Hyderabad. Sakshin Ghosh from Delhi Public School, Gurgaon. Anusuya Mehta from Chhatrabuj Narsi School, Mumbai. Ishan Jain from Indus International School, Bangalore. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, in the junior category of global citizenship is Sakshin Ghosh from Delhi Public School, Gurgaon. Congratulations to you, Sakshin. Moving on into the senior category of the Global Citizenship Intelligent. Our finalists in this category are Parvati S. from Sri Kumaran Children's Home, Bangalore. Mihir Apte from the Orchid School, Pune. Marwa Sajad from St. Thomas Residential School, Tiruvannantapuram. Ipshito Ghosh from St. Joseph's College, Kolkata. Samir Murthy from Sri Kumaran Children's Home, Bangalore and Vasundara from DAV Public School, Chennai. Ladies and gentlemen, you can keep guessing at the comfort of your home, but I am going to break the tension. The winner in this category is Vasundara from DAV Public School, Chennai. Congratulations to both the winners. Moving on to the Communication Skills Intelligent, the junior category. The finalists from this category are Ranav Patri from Indira National School, Pune, Sakshin Ghosh from Delhi Public School, Gurgaon, Dikshita Krishnan from Sri Kumaran Children's Home, Bangalore, Asmi from Delhi Public School, Gurgaon. The winner in the junior category for communication skills in Telegram is Sakshin Ghosh from Delhi Public School, Gurgaon. Congratulations to you, Sakshin. Let's move on to the senior category in the communication skills in Telegram. The finalists in this category are Reema Sham from Shishugraha Junior and Senior School, Bangalore, Sarang from Bhavans Vidya Mandir, Elamkara, Siddharth Kumar, from St. Thomas Residential School, Tiruvannantapuram, Pratik from Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan, Chennai, Anisha Pai from Sri Kumaran Children's Home, Bangalore, and Vedan Santosh from Presidency School, Bangalore. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner in this category for communication skills is Reema Sham from Shishugraha Junior and Senior School, Bangalore. Congratulations to you, Reema. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now left with just one more intelligent. 
I'm sure you have played a lot of guessing games at home, but one more intelligent left and let me quickly tell you who our winners are. The finalists in the Creativity and Innovation Intelligent Junior category are Misha from Sri Kumaran Children's Home, Bangalore, Tanvi from the Orchid School, Pune, Anusha from Chhatrabuj Narsi School, Mumbai, Kirtan from Manchester International School, Coimbatore. The winner in this category for Creativity and Innovation is Kirtan Kumar from Manchester International School, Coimbatore. Moving on to the senior category of creativity and innovation, our finalists are Anirudh from Sri Kumaran Children's Home, Bangalore, Geetika Gelot from Orchids International School, Bangalore, Siddharth Kumar from St. Thomas Residential School, Tiruvannantapuram, Dhruva Seshadri from Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan, Chennai, Samyukta from Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan, Chennai, and Tulya from Maharishi Vidya Mandir, Chennai. The winner in this category, ladies and gentlemen, we have joint winners for the senior category in creativity and innovation, something that has never happened in the history of TCS Ion Intelligent. The winner crown in this category has been shared between Dhruva Sheshadri, who is from Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan in Chennai, and Siddharth Kumar from St. Thomas Residential School in Tiruvannantapuram. Congratulations to all the winners. I have seen all the grand finales and let me tell you, most of us who are sitting at the comforts of our home, most of us adults, would definitely wonder or if we would be able to excel in the manner that you all did. So congratulations to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, here are our 50 gems of tomorrow that have been identified from TCS Ion Intelligent 2022. Congratulations to all of 50. The awards for all of them will reach in the next few weeks. And all the finalists will receive their in intimation on their registered email. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been a part of TCS Ion Intelligent for many years now. And every year, one thing that keeps surprising us or challenging us is the caliber of our gems of tomorrow. And we really hope that they keep doing it every year because we like creating new challenges for them. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for all the grand finales for TCS Ion Intelligent 2022 and joining us for this grand finale award ceremony. This is Rashmi Furtado signing off, wishing all of you a wonderful year ahead and hoping to see all of you again at TCS Ion Intelligent 2023. May I now request Avinash from team TCS Ion to take this forward. What a wonderful event of grand finale we have witnessed this year. Thank you all for joining today. Congratulations to all the finalists and the participants. We would like to thank all the schools, educators and teachers for their gui guidance and support. Parents for embracing the online mode. A big thank you to all our partners and the jury members. We are back with our fifth edition of TCS and Intelligent Contest. School registrations are now open. We wish you a very happy new year 2022. Thank you.